Take three boxing. I'm back with a quick video. These are my keys to vic victory tips and I guess what I feel like Andre Ward should do and what Kovalev should do to have the most amount of success and to possibly get a win. Now, I did mention that Andre Ward is probably in a slight advantage in the rematch simply because he is the more adjustment fighter and adjustment fighters benefit from experience with their opponents than fighters that are not really big adjustment fighters. And uh, Andre Ward is the adjustment fighter in here. The keys to victory for Sergey Kovalev includes... Now, we, now in, in order to understand the keys to victory, it's important to understand where these fighters perform well. Because we already seen the re, uh, first fight with them. So we can conclude that Sergey Kovalev performs better during outside range. Where Sergey Kovalev is not on the inside. When Sergey Kovalev's maintaining his range, using his footwork to get away from people or to suddenly step in and step out, using the jab, using the right hand. Um, he's got faster hands in my opinion. He can have faster combinations occasionally, very sharp combinations. Um, or at least that's what it seemed like in the first fight. He's very good on the outside. He should be better on the outside. And I feel like that's what Sergey Kovalev needs to do. Sergey Kovalev has to use his footwork. One thing he does really well is as his opponent's coming in, he uses his footwork. Say that you have a certain amount of distance. Let's say one and a half meters between your opponents, right? Or maybe one meter, one, one to one and a half. Let's say one and a half meters. I think that might be... I can't remember how much is one and a half meters. Let's say one meter is actually. Let's say Sergey Kovalev is one meter away from his opponent. As his opponent is trying to come forward, what Sergey Kovalev does at times is he's able to back up, maintaining that one meter distance. That's something that's really impressive about him. You know, he's got good footwork and he's pretty quick on his feet. He needs to be able to do that. So as Andre was coming in, because Andre was really an inside like a better inside fighter than Sergey Kovalev, and he will probably be trying to go in the inside. Sergey Kovalev has to kind of time his way backwards and maybe just counter him as he's coming in, things like that. He has to move, maintain that distance, and sometimes come back and counter. So he might try to catch him coming in. Sergey Kovalev has to really put his hands on Andre Ward, has to land clean shots, has to land a lot of shots, he has to let his hands go, he has to throw the jab. I feel like Andre Ward will... Now, keep in mind, Andre Ward did get the better of him in the late half of the fight, in the first fight. But the second fight will start. Andre Ward, obviously, he's going to go into the fight. I reckon he'll adapt. He'll probably think of adapting a lot quicker, especially if Sergey Kovalev just like he was in the previous fight. But the thing is, in the first round or two, he will still need to adapt for the second time. A, just a little bit just to again get used to it like let, let's say right I improve my bench press in the gym to 300 pounds right I went from within two months I worked out hard I mean this is hypothetical right I improved my bench press from 200 to 300 pounds my one rep repetition max so I can do 300 pounds once that's my full max before two months before it used to be 200 pounds for one rep max Now, if I, let's say I did that today for my bench press, okay, now next week, if I go there and do it again, I have to make sure that I do the, do warm up, I warm up, right, I can't just go from literally going to the gym and straight to a 300 pound, I have to warm up, I have to maybe do just the bar, then put on like, I don't know, 100 30 kilograms, then 200 kilograms, 250, then 300 maybe. See what I'm trying to say? So you warm up. So Andrew needs to kind of warm up to Sergey Kovalev. Even though he made adjustment, even though he got a feel of what Sergey Kovalev's like, he still has to get used to Sergey Kovalev in the second fight, the first two. And in the first two rounds, where Andrew Ward will probably try to get a better, like try to get used to the feel of being with Sergey Kovalev a little bit, Sergey Kovalev has to be a bit more different, be a bit more intense, throwing more punches, throwing more jabs, coming up with the right hand. Uh, from the jabs, going to the body maybe, you know, um, he's not really the known body puncher in here, but really has to put, he has to put, make sure Andrew Ward is able to put some respect on his name, <laughs> he has to 
make Andrew feel his power, and Andrew he has to make Andrew Ward kind of become cautious. You know how kind of like how Keith Diamond did to Danny Garcia. Only I feel like Cole has to do a bit more, and I think he is capable of doing more. He has to really hurt Andrew Ward, in my opinion. He has to hurt him or drop him multiple times. Within either he drops him multiple times or he has to get him out of there. He has to get Ward out of there in no more than five rounds. I'm actually willing to say four, but at the most five rounds. I feel like if it goes five rounds or more, like six rounds or more, this is a win for Andre Ward. And yeah, so he has to, I mentioned, use his jab, use his right hand, throw a lot of jabs, throw a lot of right hands, use his footwork more often, be in shape, be in condition. And uh, as Ward is coming in, one thing Sergey Kovalev has done is like trying to put his hands out there to kind of distract Ward, trying to put his head down and stuff with... Uh, on a longer range. Hey, it's a veteran move. If it work, it worked for him a little bit and he should use it. Right? He could also try and go to the body to make Andrew Ward see uh, tired. He could give give Andrew Ward a taste of his own medicine. But those are the basic things that he needs to do. And yeah, those are the things that he needs to do. He needs to use his jab to time him as well. Establish that jab is very establishing that jab is very important for Andre Ward. Andre Ward's gonna be like stylistically, this is a difficult fight for Sergey Kovalev for sorry for Andre Ward because look, an outside fighter, a fighter that's better on the outside. Look, say if fighter A is better on the outside and shit on the inside, not saying that none of these guys are shit on the, on the outside or inside. One person is shit on the outside, another person is shit on the inside. I personally, given that everything else is roughly similar, I personally would think the guy who's better on the outside will be able to do more. Especially if the guy who's better on the outside has better footwork and he has a better jab, then yeah. Because to get on the inside, you have to go through his outside. You know, you don't just teleport from far away in the ring to just straight on the inside right Andrew Ward has to make his way to the inside very smartly maybe you know dip down faint body head body head and try to come up to him he has to go up and down I don't know how to explain this but as he's coming in he has to kind of duck under come up duck under come up you know faint it kind of be elusive head movement is very important not just left right you know Left, left, right head movement, but also ducking under the punches and things like that. Andrew Wood has to be very sharp. He could try to use his own jab. Andrew Wood has, he does use to, a jab to the body, which will help him try to get in. I can't really explain why, but a jab to the body will actually help you try to get, uh, get cl- on the closer range. It will set, uh, it will actually, um, as, one thing is, as you jab to the body, you can jab to the head as well, right? So you can mix up jab to the body, jab to the head, which he should do. This is one of his keys to victory, right? In my opinion. He should jab to the body, jab to the head, because when... if So next time, let's say a few rounds have gone, and Kovalev seeing Andrew Ward's butt jab, right? He don't know if he's going to jab to the body or to the head, or if he's just fainting a jab, right? As he's jabbing, he could just come in on the inside, right? Or some... Like, see what I'm trying to say? It could keep Kovalev uncertain. He could obviously get caught with the right hand as he's coming in, but he should keep his guard up, try to be... Um, try to faint, try to make Kovalev think it and get on the inside, right? Be a bit cagey in the ring, maybe a bit dirty, maybe like you know, hold. Andrew Ward has to go to the body, as I said, jab to the body, jab to the head. As you keep jabbing to the body, right? When you go throw a headshot, he might not expect it. So jabbing to the body sets up a lot of different things. He has to go to the bo- Andrew, um, sorry, Kovalev's body. He has to make Kovalev tired. He he was able to do that in the first fight. He has to make Kovalev tired. He has to throw a lot of body shots. Um, as he's on the inside, he should try not to let go of Kovalev. And I think he's capable of doing that. Well, Andrew was on the inside. As Kovalev's trying, while he's already on the inside, right? Not while he's already trying to come up to Kovalev. On the outside, as Andrew was trying to come up, right? A lot of times Kovalev can back up, maintaining the same distance. But when Andrew was already made it on the inside, Kovalev a lot of times doesn't, is not able to get away from Ward. Ward is able to, I mean, he's able to get away from Ward, but Ward's already landed a few punches already. He can try to sort of jump in with that jab, that lunging jab that he's got. It's quite a dangerous punch, but he's mastered it. So he should do that. That dangerous jab sort of punch that he's got. 
he should try and corner Kovalev, cut the ring off on him, and to the because he should lash it to the uh, corner, try put him on the corner or on the ropes where I feel like Andrew would do way better while Kovalev's on the ropes. Andrew will do better. He has the edge when it comes to the inside fighting. He should he should take full advantage of the inside, real full advantage of the inside. Um, Andrew Ward should, as I said, trap Kovalev on the ropes. And this time he should actually be very sharp. He should try. He says uh, there was a lot of hiccups in the camp, so I'm expecting Andrew Ward to be a little bit more sharp. He has to throw a lot of sharp punches. Even from the outside to mid-range, he has to throw a lot of sharp punches. He has to try to bully Kovalev around. And I had, you know, Kovalev gets a bit, bit frustrated. And I feel that like, uh, Kovalev has to do that. Um, Andrew Ward has to make Kovalev frustrated. He has to hold, clinch. And also on the outside, I think at times he can have more success than Kovalev. Right? At times, as he's going to the body, come up with a right hand to the head. Come up with a hook to the head. A left hook, he's got a nice left hook. He can do all that. He can do all that. And... Uh...